So what happens when you combine the Secret Service, a huge conspiracy, and the paranormal? You get a new hit show called The Rook. And we have two of the stars joining us in studio this morning, Emma Greenwell and Jolie Richardson. Thank you so much for being here, both of you. Oh, well, a pleasure. Welcome to your morning. Uh, the Rook is based off a book. Does it follow the same premise? And will fans of the novel, what can they expect from the show? Um, it doesn't, it, it sort of, it's, the premise is the same, but the story goes in quite a different direction. But I asked Daniel, the author himself, whether he was happy with it, and oh. he said he's very happy, so I hope that fans will agree with the author and enjoy the fact that the story differs slightly. But Inspired by the book. Absolutely. But a little bit different telling. All right, the title, The Rook, has a very special meaning. We know that it comes from the game of chess. Can you expand on that, either of you, anymore? Well, Emma is our rook. Yeah. And I am the king, and Adrian Lester plays the queen. And it's all, that's all within our secret service agency. Mm -hmm. And it's all not like Game of Thrones, but it's like game of power Ooh. of who, who can position themselves best. So you can never trust anyone. You never know if anyone's telling the truth. Basically, it's all a game. Just like real life. You yes. can never trust, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what does it mean to have a show where uh, you've got these three leading roles, all portrayed by strong females? How does that change the dynamic, uh, both filming and what the product is on screen? Well, it's just so exciting, and it wasn't just us. It was we had these uh, three female directors, showrunners. It was it was just a very exciting environment, and you know, it is a new age, a new dawn in terms of creative output for women. So it's great to be part of it. We've seen a real push for that in uh, in the last, I would say, last three years more intensively. And you guys have been acting for a while. How does that change well, the I've dynamic? I've been acting for a lot longer. Than <laughs> that. I don't want to give Emma her due. She's she has got wonderful. Experience, little bit of experience. I, I'm like vintage, vintage compared well, to... Well, Julie, then let me ask for your perspective. How does that change the dynamic in set where you now have female directors and more uh, female voices in the writer's room? Um, I can't say that it's changed the dynamic on set mm -hmm. because I found that most sets are great creative uh, places to work. Um, what I think's great is that there's representation and diversity. That's the wonderful thing. But, you know, when you have a group of artists all working together, like here, you know, all your crew members, you know, ev everyone should have a chance, basically. True. All right, let's get back to The Rook. Miffany is trying to uncover her past. She's trying to discover the truth. Emma, compared to other roles that you've played, what kind of challenge did this present? I mean, it's very different to anything I've ever played before, which is always lovely to sort of give myself that that range and, and um, you know, there's a real gift of a character because she doesn't have a memory. There's no past, there's no history. So in order to, I really got to sort of create the character on screen during filming, which was, as an actor, sort of really fun. Yeah, I imagine. The story covers all things that are, you know, sort of British and cool and sexy. The <laughs> Secret Service. There's also a slight Matrix ah. uh, quality mm. to it and, and she's our chosen one. Ooh, I like that. You just have to figure out where she fits. <laughs> There's lots of adventure, lots of action. And we mentioned the paranormal off the top, a little bit of the and supernatural. And psychological drama, too. And I think that's the really fascinating one. Because you never quite know and you're trying to yes. figure out. Those are the shows that you talk about with your friends. Yes. Because everyone's got their theory. That's what I exactly. hope. It's, 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 like a, exactly. and it's like a sort of mystery and you're always guessing sort of who did it. And I, I, was, I, was, I didn't know what happened. No one told me what the end was. So I was constantly guessing and I was totally wrong. So I hope you were wrong. Oh, I was completely, was completely wrong. I just didn't have a clue. Yeah, no, we would, we would also be like, who do you think did it? Like, who do you think... And I was... And we were all terrified it was going to be us, and so yeah. we'd all be, like, out of the show. Oh, yeah. I love that. Mm. I love that. And so you're... Now that you know the ending, without giving anything away... But funny well, enough, I don't know the ending. Are you oh. sure you know the ending? Because we shot, like, three different ones. That is true. You did? Yeah, no, that is... I, I don't... I haven't, I haven't seen it, so, so I don't know. I don't actually know the ending. I think I do. I mean, I hope, I hope it's the one I like the See, best. See, even we don't. No, I we're love in the show this. And we don't know. Okay, before I let you go, I want to know this. You will know the answer to. If you could put pick any superpower or a supernatural ability in your real life now, what would that be? Well, I was thinking about this last night, and I thought if if I, I'd like to have the superpower that all the world leaders could wake up Buddhist monks. <laughs> it was a joke. So no, no, <laughs> no that's not, I, that's I know good. that's more like a wish than a superpower. But uh, <laughs> I thought, well, I'd just like to see if we're in a bit of a 
more mine, peaceful mine, world. That's, see, Jodie's sort of reaching out there. Mine's very boring, <laughs> it's just because I, I, I hate flying, so mine would be to be able to fly myself. Oh, um, I like that one. Yeah, so then I could get places without getting on a, on a plane. Mine would be to be invisible, because then I could, like, listen to conversations oh. that I'm normally not allowed to hear. Oh, okay. Yeah, like those um, White House ones where they kick all the reports So earlier out. when you were like, I saw you in the corridor, were you, like, secretly listening? I was. When oh, I saw oh, you in the bathroom, oh. I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you both for joining thank us. You, thank you for Back having me. Back to the show, The Rook premieres this Sunday on Star and you can only get it on Crave.